So after using the conversion kit for the M4, the 50 cal makes it really slow fire rate. I decided I wanted to go back to the normal M4 just to get a little bit of nostalgia because it was my most used weapon back in Modern Warfare 2. And I wanted to play around with some attachments, maybe speed it up a little bit, limit the recoil, the whole shebang, just like I normally do. And let's just say I might've found something, a setup that might just be meta here in Modern Warfare 3. And I'm fairly convinced of that. So normally I'm a pretty big iron sight fan here on the M4, but I wanted to try the Jack Glasses optic simply because I run it on a lot of weapons in this game. So I just wanted to give it a shot here. Let's just say I really liked it. The iron sights are clean on the M4 and you can still run them if you want, but the Jack Glasses optic felt absolutely awesome. And that's what I'm gonna be running for the gameplay. So there's your optic. For the stock, I have the Demo Fade Pro stock and this is gonna kind of speed up the weapon a little bit in the forms of stray speed. So you're gonna be getting aim walking speed along with just sprint speed, tactical sprint speed, overall movement. I'm gonna hide my camera. It's very small values, but it does help the cause at the end of the day, 2% of the sprint speed, 1% of the tactical sprint speed, along with 10% to the ADS movement speed. And that stray speed, which is the ADS movement speed is really the big one there. For the rear grip, we have the Seiken ZX grip, self-explanatory attachment. We're gonna get some recoil and gun kick control in order to make it easier to hit your shots at range. 7% there across the board to gun kick, horizontal and vertical recoil control. Now time for the broken record attachment in the Bruin heavy support grip. Basically what I've run on every Modern Warfare 2 weapon in this game, simply due to the fact it does a very good job at controlling the visual recoil on the weapon, along with give you gun kick and horizontal recoil control. It's gonna be 10% there to the gun kick, 8% to the horizontal recoil control. And of course, like I stated, that fire aiming stability. And the second broken record record attachment here is the Zem compensated flash hider. Same reason we chose that underbarrel controls that visual recoil really well. When you match the muzzle and the underbarrel up, it does a fantastic job. Along with that, we're getting that 5% to horizontal and 15% to vertical recoil control. I don't want to spoil anything. Let's just say copy these attachments down. Let's start there. Pause the video, copy these down. I don't want to spoil anything about the gameplay, but I'm going to say this. One of the best I've ever posted on this dang channel. And I've been posting for upwards of six years now. So that's going to speak a lot. Definitely one you want to watch through. And as always, here's the rest of your loadout. If you guys also wanted to copy that down, you know, my perks and lethals don't really change. So a lot of you guys are probably pretty familiar with this. At the end of the day, I think they're the best perks. So, you know, if you guys haven't copied them down, definitely give them a try. Also, that being said, I just stated one of my best gameplays coming up here. You guys are going to watch this. We're heading to Dome, DNA Bomb, or two, or three. I'll let you guys figure it out. You guys watch that. Let's get into it. So after using the Harbinger kit or the 50 cal conversion kit for the M4, I decided I kind of just want to do a normal M4. This thing's fun to use. Not overpowered by any means, but just fun to use. It definitely has its downsides in this game. Simply like uh, the big ones being like ADS because you kind of have no choice but to slow down the weapons if you want good recoil control and stuff. I think yeah, I did. that was the skin I saw. So yeah, getting a whole lot of one shot kills here. Oh, damn. I got to start watching my back. I think they're sneaking through right here. This is chaotic. I'm in it. I'm into chaotic. We like chaos. The only problem is if they get super close to me like this. Thank God I had my pistol out. He had a WSP swarm too. If they would have gotten super close to me. I probably would have had some, some issues. VTOL, that's it. Okay. I just can't call that in yet. I got to lock down. Nope. I'm going to call the VTOL in right now. Okay, I'm going to call it here and I'm going to hit my advanced. Wait, what? Where did you come from, Waffles? Oh, wait, he was right next to me the whole time? I thought that was a friendly. He didn't show up on my advanced UAV. The other team's very aggressive on the OBJ, so I'm gonna have to control it. He, again, he's not on my UAV. I'm super confused. Why? Why? What the hell? 
I'm not even making excuses. I don't understand why that is. I'm playing the hell. Again, not trying to make excuses, but I, I need to know why they're not showing up on the advanced UAV. Because that's the whole point of the advanced UAV is to know where everybody's at. Right? Like, that makes sense. This Waffles guy, I don't understand. I'm actually real confused. I don't know how he's not showing up, but I'm starting to get angry a little bit. Well, they got a VTOL, so. I'm stuck for now. Unless this VTOL goes away. I'm stuck. I could try to make my way to the other building, but it's right on top of me. I'm going to move. But don't you kill me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, is it gone? I think it's gone. Okay, we saw him. I'm gonna call this in right on the hill. Requesting close air, target marked. Advanced UAV. Need recon overhead. Confirming next hard point. Huge. They're going to be behind me. Throwing semtex. Drop them. I'm actually swarming it right away. DNA bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Let's win this game. Yeah, hell yeah. And I died. I'm at 70 kills? Hold the phone. What? Okay. This waffles guy has streaks apparently. I'll play the hell. Reloading. Another VTOL. Teammate on it? No, he's not on it. We got the lead. Oh, well, we lost the lead. We had the lead.
got a double DNA bomb. Am I first? I think that's my first. Dude, this might be one of the crazier games I've ever had. No joke. Target area marked, you're clear hot. Solid copy, Bumble. Get lit up, they're my didn't tell me. Like I'm at 117. win this Hundred and forty two. What? Fully functional. I don't want the game to end. Screw it. Hundred and fifty. DNA bomb. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, dude? What am I doing? I'm not getting on the the game's gonna end and I just got another swim. 163. 